Hey, I'm about to sit down with Kurt with Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We've got some big changes in their lineup. Two big changes in particular are about their bugle tubes. They've done something super innovative that I haven't seen done before. Uh, Kurt's going to break it down here shortly and see what is so new and innovative about these new calls. Hey, Kurt, thanks for uh, joining the call today. You bet, Brad. My pleasure. Cool. Yeah, so basically what we wanted to do today is go over some of the new stuff. Um, I say some, but you guys have a pretty, uh, pretty big catalog of just new items and some really exciting stuff uh, that we wanted to touch on. So uh, let's, let's break into uh, to the new stuff here. Um, let's start with uh, the 2.0 versions of the calls. Can you uh, maybe starting, you know, Mini Master, Rockstar, All-Star, Contender, Champ, just how they are in the catalog. Can we go through those and, and see uh, what's different in the 2.0 version? Well, it's, it's basically a frame a frame thing with us, Brad. Before we made all what we call the TST frame, which was the tone slot technology, right. uh, which were the calls that, um, you know, of course we had with the slot in the dome. Um, and for the life of that call, it was made with two pieces, a basic aluminum frame, flat frame. And then we had an injected molded dome or the TST dome, slotted dome that we glued on that frame. Um, and we, we always knew that there was there was always just a, a slight bit of variation in how those calls were assembled because it's just it's it's a it's gals and guys at our factory that put those together by hand. Each one of our calls are handcrafted. Everyone's built as an individual call. And what happens with those two pieces is you get just ever so slight variances in the um, consistency of how they're built. Um, we've never had much for complaints on that. However, we just knew from a manufacturing standpoint, we could make it better. Um, we had the GTP frame we released a few years ago uh, with our, our own uh, engineered tooling, and we decided we want to do that with the TST. Um, and we've got five very popular calls in that line, like you spoke to. Um, the Mini Master is one of them, then the Rockstar. And then, of course, the most popular ones are the ones that are the uh, Elk 101s. Uh, like the all-star that I have here, the contender and the champ. So yep. the basic crux of it is now it's an all one piece aluminum frame, um, very much uh, designed identically as and physically as possible as it could be to match the original version so that we don't get people um, that were diehard believers and, and, and uh, users of the TST that get these calls and say, we well, have changed them. They're dramatically different. We spent two years developing this and testing this and, and getting these things as spot on as we could so that we could release these with confidence that the guys that liked them before will like these as much or even better. Sure. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So I guess you kind of killed two birds with one stone on the manufacturing side, which then translated to a, per, a enhanced performance. Is that is that safe to say that the performance yeah, was well, increased just, as well? Uh, the consistency. The consistency. Gotcha. Um, you know, again, um, let me give you an example. Some of the guys um, that would blow these calls and say the contests, um, you know, that we'd ship them six or eight diaphragms um, for them to use, and they would always pick one or two of them because they all just like I say that tiny little variants um, would give the calls just a different nuance and and they would prefer that well with these we shouldn't end up with that one should be made just like the other and the other and the other so we should have just the utmost in consistency without having a robot or machine build them um, these will be as spot on as possible humanly gotcha. possible yeah so that way the guy the guy that is say learning off of youtube from whatever guy's blowing rocky mountain calls he can pretty much say the one i'm gonna buy is the one he's blowing and it's going to, and you know, take out another variable, maybe make it easier to learn or so, you know, whatever the case may be. Yeah, exactly. It's just, yes, he can, he can get a diaphragm to practice say this month in, in uh, March or April, wherever we're at here on the calendar and wear that thing out over the course of a couple of months practicing and, and be very confident when he goes and buys another one to replace it. He's bought, you know, the identical same call. And, and call makers over the years have had, you know, a reputation of having some inconsistencies in the builds. And, and we're just trying to eliminate that. Again, um, they are still handcrafted one at a time, made, you know, one individual sets of the machine and builds them. But this is, this is as close as we can get um, with robotic consistency without ch changing the whole system and having them built like that. And we're just, we just don't want to do that because we want to touch and feel and, and look and know that everyone's made, you know, 
with the right amount of stretch and, and everything's, you know, on those details as we build them. Awesome. No, that's awesome. Uh, that's a really good explanation. Yeah.